welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the new Xbox Beta app for Windows 10. This app will allow you to discover and download new games with the Xbox Game Pass. You can also see what your friends are playing and chat with them on the PC. As you can see, this is what the app looks like on my PC at the moment. We're now going to go ahead and download the app. To download the app, all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. We now need to press download the app. You do also need to have the latest Windows 10 update to be able to install the app. We now need to run the .exe once it's finished downloading. And we now need to agree to the terms and conditions. Once you have agreed, you can go ahead and tick the box and go install. Once it has finished installing, we can now go ahead and press let's go. And we can now go ahead and press take me to the games, or you can go ahead and sign into your Xbox account. I'm just going to go ahead and press take me to the games for now. And this is what the new app looks like. And I must say, straight away it does look pretty awesome. Plus, I always like the dark theme when it comes to apps. At the top here, we have our game pass. And we have social and store. If I scroll down, you can see we have all the Game Pass games. We also have the new Grounded game there, which I must admit I played yesterday and it's pretty awesome. I recommend you give it a go. We have Falls of Four, lots of different Game Pass games, which is good. If we scroll down a bit more, we have a Surprise Me. Let's just click on that and see what it does. Okay, so it's going through all the games and it's chosen a random game that we should give a try. That's pretty cool. Let's scroll down a little bit more. We then have browse by category as well. I'm now going to go ahead and press social. And we do need to sign in as you can see to view what's under social. I will go ahead and sign in now quickly. Okay, I have now just signed in and on the left hand side we have all my friends. You can see who's online and who's offline. I have blurred out all my friends just so you can't see who my friends are. And on the right hand side here we have a random friend that I've chosen. And we can see what they have recently played. We can see how many friends and followers they have. If we scroll down, we can see what achievements they also have, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead now and click onto the game at the top. Let's just see what happens. So we have The Walking Dead, and you can see how long they've played it for, what achievements and what progress and stuff they have. If we now go across to the store... We have our normal Xbox store. You can go ahead and purchase whatever games you want in the store here. On the left hand side we have these three lines and it just basically has all games, installed games, queue and needs attention. And that is basically it for this new Xbox app at the moment. Hopefully Microsoft will add a lot more features soon. And I do recommend you give it a go and download and install it if you like using the Xbox Companion app. It's definitely worth giving a try. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.